Hey, what's up you guys? Sambo here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are over in Transport Fever 2. Now, the previous episode I did about this game, um, I kind of abandoned that city just because I made so much traffic. I didn't really, um, you know, just understand the mechanics of the whole game. And um, basically, I made the cities too big to deal with, especially for someone who's new to the game. So I'm starting off with this brand new map over here. Uh, nothing too huge, so here it is over here. Our biggest town would be this one right here. Uh, and then we just have a few other smaller ones spread out throughout the whole map. And we have some little bits of um, farming and, you know, just different bits of um, resources and things like that. So, yeah, I've only done a little bit in this episode. Well, a little bit before I started this episode. But one thing I do want to address from the last episode was the fact that a lot of you called me out for building the highway and you know a lot of you were like Sam what are you doing this isn't city skylines like a lot of you were making fun of me but the thing that a lot of you weren't understanding is well first of all let's think if we want to build trucks where do trucks drive trucks drive on a road right and if you want to move trucks throughout bigger areas you put them on a highway and what was I doing I was building a highway so I, I don't know some of you maybe just think before you type because there was a really big reasoning why I was making highways because that map didn't have highways there was a lot of congestion so if I was just building more trucks it would just get stuck in congestion and we wouldn't get anywhere so there we go so I was building little highways just to help everything so here we are this is our biggest area now the only thing that I have done so far is Put in a train line between this town here to this one over here and that's exactly what we're going to be doing throughout the rest of this video it's going to be a train video so I'm not sure if you guys can see the mouse if you can't I'm sorry sometimes it appears in the recording sometimes it disappears I don't know but what we're going to do is basically continue on with this line so um, we have this line here this one on this side is for the passenger. This one is for the cargo. I haven't yet set up the whole cargo aspect of it yet. So the only aspect I've done is the passenger one. And I want to get like all of the passenger infrastructure done first because even though this is transport fever, people still need to be transported too. So um, from this one over here, if I can click on it, um, line one. So you can see there's there's some people on it, not really huge uh, amount of people using it yet, but that's fine. And I'm using basically unlimited money just so I can learn how everything works. And um, we're not going to worry about costs, we're just going to make it work and just make it look good. So that's what I'll be doing today. So the train line goes over here, comes over here, and here is our cargo one, which is not really functioning yet so don't worry about that one that would be a whole nother episode and then the other train line comes up here and there it is so just they're just big old steam trains and there it goes 23 people I probably could remove one carriage but eh, oh well <laughs> so what we're going to do now is basically extend the train line so I'm just thinking like do I want to extend over to this one probably should because this one over here is pretty small so I was thinking maybe I can like extend it over here and then do I want to make like a really small line that just goes and connects up these two and brings it back over here I think that's what I'll do so let's go over to that little town and put in a station over here somewhere the question is where do I put it hmm but um oops I can close that now and that one well let's actually work out where I want to put it first so it's a it's quite hilly so we definitely couldn't put any train line through over there so we might have to demolish some things to get the train line to come through the actual little town here because I want it to come around here around this mountain range and then come over here to hunting Huntington Beach and then over to Abilene so yeah so unless I do one that goes here and then goes back out that way that's a possibility because then we wouldn't demolish everything actually yeah I think we'll do that so which side is the train line going to be on so if we do it on that side it'll come over here along this one we could probably even make it go up through there as a shortcut and then come over here okay so maybe we can put it right here and then in the future we can um, connect up with uh, the other types of infrastructure so we can expand this area to have the 
the tram, the buses, and things like that. So we're going to go like that. Go. And then while we're here, I'm going to extend that and we're going to basically put on a second little... Oh, it's a bit high, isn't it? <laughs> we're going to put on a second line there. There we go. Good. And then let's put on the little roof so they have some shade. Ah, oh, there we go. Very nice. I don't like how high it is, though. To me, that looks a little bit funny. So I'm just going to flatten that out a little bit. So just, just go like that. Just so it doesn't look so odd. But yeah, so since this train station out here, it doesn't really cater for much of the city. Like, it's only this white area. So we can connect that up with the buses and the trams that will connect up to the rest of the city. Um, so yeah, not too worried about that. Otherwise, we would have to make the train line go all the way into the city. And probably demolish a lot of things which we don't really want actually that's a bit high isn't it <laughs> a little bit high maybe if I first of all I don't want to make this really huge random bridge so if I can just go like this maybe I don't know just so it's not so steep I mean it's still a little bit steep so we'll still have to do a little bit of a bridge but we can up oh, there we go that's what I wanted so we can't bring that down yet that's all right um, one thing I really like about these train lines is that when you draw a second train line next to it, it like connects to it like perfectly, which is really cool. I really like that aspect. It makes it a lot easier to um, connect them all. What's going on here? Whoops. Oh my God. Mm, we don't have to make it so low. There we go. We don't need tunnels or anything like that. I love the countryside as well. Like look at all that. The trees, the rocks, it looks good. All right. So can we bring that down to ground level like that and then we'll just continue up through this valley because otherwise if we followed followed along the road it's going to cost a lot more because it is a bit longer over here I've extended the train line just to go through here um, and then hopefully I can bring that around there without having to demolish anything like that it's a little bit wonky but that's right it'll go at a really slow speed through the town anyway so there's our train line over there um, let's continue that over like so where is it straight through the forest probably shouldn't do that do it straight through the forest but oh well oops that did not connect so go along a little bit more where is it there it is ding and i like that it shows the speed as well so you always want to make sure that you don't have it really um curvy because then it's going to go a lot slower obviously so we have this one here and then we're going to extend the second one over to this side which would be a separate little train line it might only have like one carriage on it or something like that otherwise it's probably a waste of resources or something like that something else i really like is that it actually kind of like draws along the side of the road so like if you want to make it really neat and tidy you can it kind of like connects up like how i was saying about the train lines how they connect up next to each other like this so you can like draw it around and that kind of just follows it but i'm not going to make it follow it exactly because it's a little bit wonky these these um roads that connect up between all the towns and things that was automatically done when i generated the map so i did not do that but i like it it gives it a little bit of a little bit of character okay so now we're over here and we need to think where are we putting our train so because <laughs> we need to kind of make it bend back around up there to Huntington Beach which I don't know why it's called beach because that's a little bit odd I was thinking maybe we can just do one like that so it'll go in then out which isn't ideal but we want it to be right in like near the town I hate how it's wonky like that too but see when it's right there in the town it does basically cover the whole town which is what I wanted whereas if I put it out here they're not really going to walk to it so then I'd have to put put in like extra infrastructure for trams and buses and things like that just to get it all connected up so it's just easier if we put it in demolish just a couple of buildings which you know you know isn't ideal but you know it's just going to help because they're all going to actually walk to it so the train will come in here and then I'm hoping I can make it go straight back out and just over here because like it is only 1951 so not everyone will have a car at this point I don't think so that's kind of the reason why I also chose that time as well because it's not going to be super busy with cars so 
Yeah, that's that's getting a little bit steep up there, isn't it? Oh my god. I didn't realize how high up this one is. So it's kind of gone into a bit of a tunnel. There we go. <laughs> Alright, so we're getting up there. We've made it up the hill. Just. It'll probably go really slow. But that's alright, as long as we get it up there. Alright, so we are up here. Now, it's not too big. Um, there's a bit of a bakery or whatever it is there. I think it's a bakery. Or flour, making flour, I don't know. But uh, let's put in our little train station. Which one can I do? Can I do that one? Or maybe I do this one. That covers most of the town. There we go. Good, good, good. And we'll bring this around here. And hopefully it'll just connect up nicely. Is that going to connect up nicely? I think it is. Just, yes. So that's kind of... I like that. The train station's right up on the hill. You can look at it right from the end of the road. Oh, it looks really grand. Okay. So that is that done. Um... And it kind of follows the road, so it makes it a little bit neater, even though it kind of <laughs> does look a little bit messy through here because you've got the weird little gaps through there. But okay, so now we need to extend this existing line. So I need to remember how to do that. So our passenger train is making 139,000 profit. I assume that's what it means. Finances. No, it doesn't let me open finances for some reason. That's strange. All good. Okay, so we have a third stop, so Alexandria, and it comes back over here. Oops, back over here to Montgomery, and then back over here into Sacramento, which is a suburb of our bigger city. I don't know what those buttons do. I have no idea. What does that say? No filter. Load if available. All right, so where is our train? So is that it there? Yep. Uh, we can probably turn off our industrial one for now, our, our cargo one, since we're not really using it anyway. But um, it is set up, so there we go. Stopped. I assume that's how you stop it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm just going to stop it like that for now. But yeah, so I need to double check this one actually goes out to our new town. But while that one is doing that, we're going to go over here somewhere. Maybe over here and I'm going to build a second depot for our little trains and let's just line it up somehow um, maybe just like that I'm not too fast about it and then we'll just do our little connection there we're gonna connect yes 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 good and then from here uh, we'll make a second line so the second line oops a new line so it'll go from over here and it'll go from that one from Alexandria come over here go into whatever this town is called go in and then we'll go back out and then up the hill to this little bakery town and there we go so you can see we're starting to get a little bit of a line going on there um, I feel like if I did extend this one over there and then all the way over to there it would take too long unless I add in extra trains but then I'd have to do extra train lines just because they can't really overlap you know what I mean so it's just easier to keep it like this um, let's speed it up where's our other one so he's still coming in there now while that one's doing that we'll go over here and we'll buy our new little train so I'm going to use the steam train I mean I don't really mind which one I have we can probably just do <laughs> that one for all I care and we'll do we'll just do one train line there we go oops did I not add that one add there we go that one I can probably sell there we go so we have our new train line there and this one can be added to our line 3 which is this greenish color one so there it goes let's just have a look at it there we go, Pullman, class car, well actually, is that going to be the fancy one that people can't afford? <laughs> maybe, it, maybe it is, like I just want the cheap one, we'll see, we'll just see how it goes, we'll see if people use it or not, um, that is so slow, honestly, <laughs> as long as it's 
easy for the for the people if they don't have a car. Okay, so that looks a little bit ridiculous, doesn't it? Nah, it's all right. <laughs> and then we'll come over here. Oh, good. So we have this one coming in to what's this town called? Buffalo, Norfolk, Montgomery, Montgomery. I think that's what it is. So coming in here. That's our cargo train station, which is not in use at the moment. And then here we are pulling in. Nope, he's gone straight through. That's fine, I guess. I mean, I guess that's okay. Oh my God, look at it go. Look at that view. Yeah, it looks good. It's really, it's, it's in detail enough. Um, it's like, it's not over the top. Um, oh, I'm looking at the wrong one. I wanted to look at the other one. <laughs> I wanted to look at that one. All right, we're coming in. Here we go. And let's see, is he gonna stop at our station and let people get on and off, or is he gonna bypass? Okay, so we're going past our little train depot. We're coming in. No people waiting. Well, I hope, I hope people were able to get on and off. It shows the speed down the bottom too. That's good. It's handy to know. Honestly, you guys, we're probably going to lose money on this little one, but I just thought it's probably handy to have anyway, just in case. Like, I know that there's a lot of small towns that have trains that go through them like that, so that's what I was thinking of. Looks like no one's getting on up here. No, nope, no one's getting on. Oh, I just realized I've used the wrong train line because it's saying no path, so I guess you only use those ones when but it's going straight straight through. So I guess I shall delete that one. Probably delete that road as well. Um, delete that part of the train line. And we'll do one of the train lines that comes to an end, which is that one there. But let's go have a look at the other areas. So we'll just, let's just bring it up. Actually, it's that one there. So we have our little stop over here, a little train line. Um, and we have this main one going through here. Now let's look at other towns. So we have nothing over here. We do have this little town over here. So we could do one really simple one that goes over there. I'm not sure if I'll worry about one for there just because, um, I don't know. It just, I'm not sure really, unless I go this one there, there, no, that's probably too far. Okay. Let's just do a little one that goes from there over to here. Um, no stops anywhere. So basically just straight there straight back really simple And we'll probably do that one along the side of the road just because it's a little bit It's a little bit hilly a bit mountainous. So we want to just keep it all together. Keep it simple Well, since we're not really using the cargo one for a while I could probably change that one into this second area where the this new train line will come into um, What I will do is we we'll go in here and delete that one. And we can probably do, do another like entrance thingy over here or something like that. Maybe like that, maybe. And then that one we can, get rid of that one. Okay, now let's just do our other extra little line. So we'll choose to do this one here. And so we need to make it go all the way through over here, which is going, it's going to be quite a, a big line, but hmm, we'll see how we go. Okay. So what I think I might do is I'll, instead of making it go across the, this mini highway thingy that we've got going here, we might actually make it run out along the side like this. like that see how it just like connects onto the side it's really easy to draw it makes things a lot faster as well there we go so we now have the new blue line the train line is kind of like what the road should have been over here like look at the road Ooh, and then the train lines really smooth so that's how it should have been but anyway come over here so it kind of caters for like a good portion of it maybe just over half um, I put a little depot over here as well um, and the next thing that we need to do is just get our little, I don't know, that one, 
and just a couple of the cheap ones ding there we go and this one can go on to line number four so then he should start coming out there in a second when he is ready there he goes and we'll see how he goes off he goes look at all that pollution though pretty sure it's yes yeah, that one emissions oh my god look at him go <laughs> look at all the emissions over here naughty naughty even over here as well but that's good that's kind of realistic that it shows that all right and so while we are just waiting to see the results of our new train lines i was thinking in the next episode we'll either do we'll focus on the actual little the little towns themselves so we need to basically connect up everyone to the train stations because the train stations are going to be really important to get people from town to town from city to city to industrial area to house whatever so let me know down below what should be next. Um, I know that this is more about, you know, like the factories and things like that. But like I said, I do want to get all of this set up first, all of the passenger stuff first done. So yes, that is what we are doing. As for highways, we probably, probably don't really need to do any of those because our cities and towns, they aren't too big anyway. So hopefully we can get away with having these little trains and things like that. So this one only has two passengers on it, but that's all right as long as it's actually working. That's all I really want to know. Um, and then over here we have our other new train line, which is this one. If I can click, stop, click, click, click. There we go. Nine people on that one. So again, at least I know it's working so in the future when there is more people you know it's just working it's going it's good it's ready to go and then our main original one here look at him go oh my god 42 people so we're at capacity for that one so that one I could probably add in an extra little passenger seating area if I really wanted to but anyway I'm going to end the episode there thank you guys for watching and I will see you all next time